very low amplitude and a little bit high beat error goes a little bit up and down So we have like, uh, let's see if we can just remove this one. Looks pretty dirty, you can see it has much dirt in it, so we really need to clean this one. Um, and we will just remove this. Does it seem to have uh, movement holder? I mean, it was moving a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna take a look here if I can. Just open it up without, or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Like it's is stuck, but same time maybe the dial is like this. I don't know. Well, you don't need to force it because as soon as you force it, it will definitely break. Uh, and we want to see here. So this is the thing you were screwed. There you go. Hopefully, hopefully everything will go fine with this one. Let's see if we can. Older or maybe not. to um, move so much. I don't want 
let's uh, remove the dial. should have changed the hour of course it's good to be a little bit more wise before let's see just want to remove these ones because Carefully remove this one. Hmm. What's this? Maybe I shouldn't have a smaller one because I don't want to. Oh, it's easy, easy without touching too much. careful no damage harm here so here we have that one here we have it you have to be careful here um So we have come to remove the dial and they are located here, the dial screws, let's see, I just need to check and see if I can, yeah, I feel this is the one. want to take off the dial and do my thing here let's see Wait. this one you can use maybe a little smaller screw of course this is it's the wrong one I'm sorry I think I'm a little bit shaky sometimes when I'm shaky I use to stop because yeah, you know it's not good to be shaking when working with watches so the removal can now be done uh, I don't have any peg wood ready for that so I will do uh, just simply uh, if you can just remove it like this, then that's the most optimal. But sometimes you need to. No, it works fine here. So it has a little bit. Here's the dial. And remove the hover wheel and dial wash washer so we don't lose them on the way. And here is that part. Let's take it this one. have to place the stem back because we need to release the power so it's an important step that's one of the first thing I learned still I have so much to learn <laughs> see here Can 
um, yes, look this one up. I know this it's not. Ah, it's okay. That is completely okay with with me. fix that or maybe not maybe I will destroy it <laughs> sometimes it's better to leave it if you're unsure because it's difficult I can't make stems and stuff like that and it's not so easy to come by spare parts there you go and the balance stopped so we will take some moment to actually release that one as well now um, and there you go I think don't mix up with the screws I've done that a couple of times in my history so word of advice don't mix the screws and when you place this one place it on the other side I mean when you place it down place it turn it over like that wow this is a wonderful balance so shiny I mean it's my it's the first below I'm working on it looks great <laughs> completely wonderful nice so I have the beginning now to Again, to bring in uh, not the movement part, but this is bringing the, the movement holder and all those parts first. It's good. Take a look here. Um, I think. Oh, 
Style Bridge. Sorry, I have a. I had a little accident here in the room. So, for that reason, I'm using a mask. Uh, I'm not sure I will tell you what happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, the funny thing is, um, one of my TVs uh, actually wasn't so good placed, and the TV fell on my compartment, which had some liquid, and I had to evac evacuate and clean. Uh, felt very stupid when that happened. Let's see if I can, if I have to remove these ones as well. Okay, I'll take. So sadly, that was what happened. Uh, before, so I'm a little bit shaky still. My solutions is not always the best. Let's see if I can carefully. Careful, we don't want to damage these sensitive screws. This uh, looks very good this moment, so I don't want to be the first one in 70 years who actually makes much um, scratches on it. No, no, no. So good here. Now we'll take the train. I used the, my favorite is the, this one, the, the black one. 100, even though sometimes I have to use the red one, 120. pivots of the escapement and stuff like that but they, they seem intact here now so the train is intact so that's good let's see if we can just release the center wheel and the center wheel third fourth escape wheel Uh, 
inventory and then I will take the wheels we can't take because this one is stuck on the other side I think actually it's like that because Should have removed the cannon pinion. Cannon pinion holds uh, this one. Of course, our guides. Uh, too much fumes in this room. Uh, the cannon pinion remover. I have that, so we can be as careful from the other side. Pinion is loose, and for that reason, the center wheel is also loose. So, win win. Take a look here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you can see that one. And then the very third wheel. Okay, that's that one. And then we carry on the fourth wheel, right? Longer one, okay. And take notes on that. The only one I can't, uh, I can't really open these ones at the moment. Uh, I'm still practicing, it's so difficult. Oh, I have not managed to service those yet. So I hope it's at least something of the basic service in this one. That will be uh, fine with that. So here we have the keyless uh, and uh, everything. So we will take a look on that one. And we will continue to move it. Bridge, as I call them, four four five, right? We'll just disconnect this one a little bit. And there is. Let's take a look. the minute wheel and this is the intermediate wheel right so we will release them as well I think it's the intermediate wheel sorry so sure yet setup of the keyless take notes uh, the spring long side to the yoke and the yoke is pointed to the left setting lever and setting lever screw winding stem winding pinion and sliding pinion it's good I repeat because someday I will make the tests at school in London so that's good I really need to make the test so I can officially be a, a watch repair watch repairer sorry mm -hmm. and here we have that let's sink that one out super many scratches in there let's see if I can just yep there you go so 
here we are and now we should do something like this the lever screw needs to be detached if I get the name no Sometimes just use the right one. If you try too much, then you can damage it. But I don't seem to get any gris 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 grasp of this one. Or maybe my tools are a little bit bad. from the other side um, it's good it's good I like this part Oops, it is it's So, um, here we are. So, nice one. Some cleaning and pegging and hopefully it will not stop after this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I just want to show you another one thing before. This one I cleaned also. Uh, and I had to, as you saw, take, I took off many things with the two things. <laughs> so the next step is cleaning. <laughs>